Hey everybody, this is Coffee Talk with the Mad Sons. I'm joined by David Kramer today. Hey David, how you doing? Hey Jay, how you doing? <laughs> doing all right, doing all right. I'm uh, excited that, to have you on the show. We've had Appreciate Jeff Feld you. and Brett Burchard, your, your favorite two guys on before you. So you're the first player on. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually great. Well, good deal. So we got uh, our, our great fans submitted a bunch of questions for you. So we'll launch right into it. Yeah, oh, amazing. Really? First one, what have you liked most about the United States since you moved here? Oh, what I like the most? That's actually a great question. <laughs> uh, it's very different. The United States is very different. Uh, I just love it. just, um, you know, so much bigger. Like, this culture is so big and everything. I mean, it's just you have a lot, a lot of beautiful places, you know, like a lot of nice nature in Arizona. You have, like, I was in Sedona a couple of times. Um, I was, you know want to always go to the Grand Canyon. It's not there yet, still on the to-do list, but it's just like, uh, from nature-wise, it's like really beautiful country. Like, you have so much stuff to do. Um, now I'm in Los Angeles. It's amazing here too, you know, like uh, the scenery and everything. So, um, yeah, but yeah, that's pretty much it. <laughs> I know I asked you uh, during the season, about how you liked it out in AZ. And I know mm -hmm. with Phoenix Suns, you really liked Phoenix, right? Yeah, I love Phoenix. It's amazing. I, Phoenix is definitely one of my favorite cities. So yeah. it's just like, you know, it's just so nice there. Weather, you know, like everything, people are great there. So I fell in love with Phoenix like the day I got there. So it's really nice. Right. And you got to avoid it before it was June when it's 115 degrees out. <laughs> yeah. That was my first Phoenix, first Phoenix uh, memory. You know, coming from Europe, where it's, especially in Germany, you play there, and there's like not that much going on. And I had not that hot. And then you come to Phoenix, which is like 115 or some stuff. And I'm like, oh boy, that's going to be rough. But I got used to it pretty, pretty quick. And, uh, I kind of loved it, you know, the weather and everything. So I, I lucky miss that. Right. Yeah, I think my uh, flip flops are already melted from the season. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, I, I was like most of that. Most of the time, if I went somewhere, I was just like, you know, during the day I just had like, especially long sleeve Loki, because I really got sunburned during the time, <laughs> and uh, so I just stayed like at the at its peak. I stayed inside and like in my air-conditioned room, so <laughs> I was just really smart. <laughs> All right, next question here. How big of a difference is the level of play from the G League and the German Pro B and BBL? Uh, wow, that's a good question. I mean, um, it, BBL is definitely, like, it, it improved so much. And I see, like, a lot of players go from uh, – from G League to the German League, and I see a lot of players who've been in the in the G League. They're now playing in German League. Um, I think like it's definitely like it's a different basketball. Like it's very different basketball. Um, as we know, European basketball is very team, uh, you know, like structured and everything. Here in the states, I have to learn also a lot of one on one going on and individual scoring wise. Um, but um, I, I kind of adjusted very quick. Um, it's just, yeah, like, you know, in Europe, you, you, you move without the ball all the time and just, like, cuts open, uh, like, and everything. And uh, it, it definitely made it in the G League very easier. And I was, like, open a lot of times. And I could definitely read the game because it was very spaced. So uh, it's kind of, like, not really a crazy difference. But I would say right now, how BBL are involved and everything. I think the German league right now is, I think, on a higher level. But G League is working on like, is I see the G League. What I hear from the past, past years is definitely uh, evolving and it's getting better and everything. Especially now with the players, uh, Unilation or what's it called. So it's just they trying to get like everything right and just. Uh, step in the game up so you really can see the G League is getting better and better and better and yeah so that's very nice. Did you notice a big difference like right away getting into the G League or did it take you maybe to get when you're in your played in your first game which was I think uh in January right? Yeah so I mean due to I was injured I could like 
watch a lot of D League uh, games and everything, and watch everything from the sideline, which was kind of a bummer. But then on the other hand, I could like literally study and learn the game. And next to it, I was like watching literally every Phoenix Suns game. Um, so I could like watch a lot of stuff. And even from some of what I learned with some of the, um, with them, with the Suns, and then transferring to the G League, um, I kind of like adjusted kind of quick because I could see already what, what's the, how the program looks and everything. So once I started playing, I knew, okay, what I have to do. Um, and uh, what I have to do to be successful and help the team. For sure. We got a, a cool question here. Let's see how you, how you take it. Are you going to be an NBA star? That's definitely my goal. And uh, some people are gonna laugh, but for me, I'm gonna be yes. Yeah, it's just, I just need, you know, just time, be patient, just keep working hard. Um, I, you know, I came out here to the States because I had a mission. Um, I told a lot of people, like last in Germany, like I'm gonna be in the NBA, and I told them you're gonna laugh, but I'm gonna be in the NBA one day. And uh, I signed in some of the Suns, you know. Um, and by new expect, I had my expectation. I was like, okay, like it's, I'm not gonna play right away this first year. It's not gonna be everything perfect. I have to go through some stuff. I have to go like it's gonna be a journey. But one day it's gonna be everything worth it. So. I'm just going to stay positive, keep working hard, being smart. And, uh, yeah, you know, I definitely want to be one day a star. Right. And, yeah, just like you said, you've already reached the NBA. <laughs> and then how many people don't can ever say that? And now it's just yeah. about reaching it and sticking it, which you're right there. Exactly. All right. So this next question, I assume, is uh, from one of your friends. <laughs> My friends. Oh, <laughs> I'm guessing. <laughs> Which of your Pittsburgh Pittsburgh friends do you miss the most, and who is king of the hill? <laughs> <laughs> I know this Hank for a hundred percent. Oh, I definitely miss Pittsburgh friends, man. Uh, I love Pittsburgh. It's a great place. Uh, I mean, I definitely miss like Hank, Denmark, Dustin, all my friends, man. Like, like I, I went there because of my assistant coach. He was from uh, he was from Pittsburgh, and uh, during the time when I had off. Like uh, two years ago, we had summertime, and I want to work out. So he has this called he has this program called Scoring Factory, which is really amazing basketball program in Pittsburgh, and uh, it's really nice to see that um, he he helps to you know improve basketball and show basketball like the kids and even like in uh, areas where in poor areas where people have struggles and everything, they have the program there. So kids stay out of trouble and they, they teach them how to uh, how to be better as a person and also like play basketball as a sport it's a really amazing program so I miss a lot of people you know I just have a little for I have from my from my coach the four daughters they're like little daughters I miss them a lot but yeah so and back to the question Hank is still the king of the hill because <laughs> he kind of won lucky but I got to give him that. He won. He won. <laughs> in that moment for you to say that. <laughs> it, was two, it was two years ago, man. <laughs> <laughs> still, still it's cute. It hasn't gotten past it yet. Yeah. Right. Won't be what's, your, what's your favorite TV show? My favorite TV show, by far, The Office. U.S. I yep. love it. Yeah, it's just, I can watch it the whole day, man. It's just, it's a classic. I love Steve Carell. And, um, you know, like, it's just, it's just amazing. I don't know. It's like, I, I have a lot of favorite TV shows, but this one definitely by far, like, like the one, I watched it through already three times. So it's time to, three so. times already, huh? Yeah. So that's actually the most part where I learned my English, to be honest, which some people might don't know yet, but yeah. So. No, that's where you learn a lot of choice words. I guess yeah, and, and, I, and, I, and I finally <laughs> learned this American sarcasm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what she said. That's all you learned. <laughs> exactly. That's what she said. <laughs> Michael. Michael. <laughs> Michael, please. There he is. Please. There he is. Oh, man. All right. What have you been up to since the season was suspended? And I think you touched on that a little bit, but you've been uh, working out or? 
Oh yeah, I mean, so um, since then, uh, to be honest, like quarantine, I just tried to see you swat. Like I was in New Mexico, um, staying uh, at my girl's house for the, like for like two months, um, and I was just like you know working out in the morning, just hiking, just you know doing stuff, different stuff, just um, try to learn like a little bit piano, um, just trying to. Just you know, just trying to figure some also stuff out, also without basketball. Think about stuff, you know. Okay, what I have to do here, what there. Um, but I, I just basically been staying in shape the most of the time. Like I, I had there was like I don't know Insanity program which came out a couple of years ago. Um, it's like a fitness program. I just got on that and did it for a couple, like I think five weeks, um, just to stay in shape. Um, I did another like a lot of hiking um, because we've been in like such a nice area. Um, played tennis, you know. So, and now I just moved to LA like two weeks ago because uh, I lucky missed basketball. You know, after one, two months playing no basketball, nothing, nothing in the gym and everything. So I lucky missed it. So I had to find okay, what's what's the best place where it can be with everything basketball and the future wise so I realized Los Angeles is the place um I have my friends there trainers agencies um you know it's like close to international airport so nice area right around here I'm li living here in Redondo so um yeah just you know like watching a lot of games last dance you know like I think everybody watched that but just you know understanding the game more um watching my game, seeing where I can improve, uh, where I can get, be get better. Um, you know, I do gym almost every day, um, playing pickups on the weekends. So it's just just the regular stuff, you know. Trying to surf, by the way, tried to surf uh, last week, but that was kind of a bummer. I'm too tall for that. So I just stick to boogie boarding. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, so I'm just... Man, this is... You're an inspiration here. I think most of the people in quarantine are probably sitting on their couch watching TV and you're over here learning the piano. I mean, I, mean I definitely was doing that too. I 100% was doing that too. I definitely was watching TV a lot, basically playing playing video games too. But I mean, once, you know, I'm still saying staying safe. Like I'm wearing my mask everywhere. Like make sure I wash my hands all the time. I'm very like careful about stuff. Like, I'm, I'm staying away from crowded people. But, you know, like, right here, I just want to get in the gym. Like, keep working out, get better. Because right now, like, you know, like, it's all about, like, how you use your time. And I have a feeling, like, you know, some things, like, just happen for a reason. And we can't, I just don't want to waste time. I really hate wasting time. And I'm like, okay, like, right now in this unfortunate situation with the pandemic and quarantine and everything going on, so I'm like, okay, how can I use my time the best? So I just, you know, try to like, you know, in the mornings, just go on a bike ride at the beach or just, you know, do some stuff in the morning. I, right now I worked out at seven in the morning. I just had a, a weight workout. And then sometimes I have a beach workout in the mornings. In the afternoon, I just, um, during the day, I go home, chill a little bit, go on the beach, um, just walk or bicycle get some food and then afternoon at night I go to the gym and work out so I'm just you know taking it day by day and uh, just trying to do the best out of it yeah really cool yeah doing a whole lot of things <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, next question here how old were you when you first picked up a basketball uh I picked up my basketball probably I mean I started playing when I was four years old when I picked up a basketball I probably was Early, I probably was still in bed, like just having as a basketball toy, probably that. But um, yeah, but first day I picked it up, like you know, I fell in love, and it was my first love, you know. So I'm sure, your first shot was nothing but yeah, the <laughs> first shot, everything. So automatic buckets. You, know, <laughs> you already know. <laughs> so yeah, but I fell in love with that since day one. When I was like four years old, and since then I had like. I remember, like, I still have, like, 
you know, like uh, school books and where I wrote my goals and it's always been the United States and the NBA. So I'm still not there yet, but I'm on a journey. I'm close there, but you know, so I'm just still have to, still have to work a lot and uh, learn a lot. So, yeah. Um, I think this question is for someone who's maybe on a team or, or just trying to, or has visions for being on a team. So what is most important in being a good teammate? Most important of being a good teammate. Um, just, you know, help, help communicate, like help your teammates out, communicate, like listen to them, like um, help them out and like talk, like figure stuff together. Um, also do stuff off the court because the better relationship is also off the court. It's going to be on the court good too. Um, uh, you know, just be like, be like a team player. Don't be unselfish. I'm not saying like sometimes in moments, some moments you have to take your ball and like just score sometimes, but be a good teammate. Just, um, be there for the time for them all the time, you know. So, uh, if they have problems or some stuff, like help them out, like help them if they're understanding the play, like even in the game, like dab them up, like even with the do bad, like I'm just trying to, you know, like if I see players like like do bad or some stuff, like I'm not trying to be on the bench and trying to cuss them out. I'm trying to be like, all right, next play, you got it, you know. Just nobody's perfect, you know. Like I'm making self mistakes. So I'm not going to, I'm not expecting him to be also perfect, you know, so um, just encourage them. And I know like we had, we didn't have the best season, but I always try to encourage the game, stay positive on the bench. And I'm telling, I'll be honest, like I sometimes been like sometimes negative too, or say some words, but at the end of the day, you know, it's basketball. It's like, you know, a lot of emotions going on. So but just, you know, just try to, just try to be like a great team player, a, a, a guy that the, the team wants you have you around. And uh, yeah, just work hard and do the best for, for yourself and for everyone. So, and then I think it's just gonna be like, it's gonna be solved like, yeah, so. Yeah, some good stuff there. Uh, back to a fun question. Are you a good dancer? Oh, I'm, I, I thought I'm a good dancer, but no, I'm not. I'm, <laughs> I'm a bad dancer. I was, I'm, I'm bad, actually. I have some little Michael Jackson moves, but that's it. I'm bad there. Yeah, like, when, when I saw Jalen dance and Tariq yeah. and all of a sudden, like, okay, like, man, this is different. So they're just different kind of moves. So I was like, I was, I was always at Jalen. I was like, yo, teach me to dance. So he taught me a little bit, but man, it's, it's just, so yeah, nice. it's to, yeah, it's hard to compare yourself over to Tariq. <laughs> so I'm just hour every day though. <laughs> I'm just going to do a regular dance, you know. The, the show. I'm just I can tell you that. how many times I walked on the court with no music, and I they were just dancing. <laughs> <knows about. laughs> I love to dance, though. I mean, it's just you know, it's just it's just kind of like joy, fun, you know. So just just give energy. All right, there we, uh, we got a personal question here. What's your whip? What's my what? <laughs> your whip. What car? My you whip. What my, car? You my car. Yeah. <laughs> what I'm driving? I'm yeah. driving right now a rental a uh, Chevrolet Malibu with Utah license plates. That's actually my car. Yeah, I'm not. I did not buy me nothing yet. Um, I didn't really need to. I was in Prescott, you know, and uh, we. Did, I had the gym right next to my street, and the practice gym was like five minutes away, but we carpooled so. I just saved a lot of money too, you know, I didn't want to buy me nothing yet. Um, just being smart. Um, and yeah, so now I just got me a rental. Um, and yeah, but I'm not thinking of a car yet <laughs> right now. <laughs> I'm just glad, I'm just glad right now I got from point A to point B where it can be mobile, so. Gotcha, yeah. maybe I'll change soon. <laughs> yeah, like I definitely want to, like I have my cars, like I always want to buy me one day. But I'm right now thinking, I'm just like, okay, let's right now, you know, make sure <laughs> I have to achieve some different stuff before I think, okay, what, a, what right. car I'm driving. Right, for sure. What was your favorite moment on the court this season with the Naz Suns? Man, my favorite moment of, was definitely coming back on the court. Like, after being five months, 
being five months away and like see them in practice and everything and you see like they go hard and you know like they just um they work hard and like you know they're on the team and like i just want to be a finally a part of the team and just like help them out like and it's definitely it was definitely like um just when i got there in the moment like on my first game back in january and uh just being with them on the court again it was like definitely my favorite moment because it was like man like it was kind of relief i was like finally you know i can be with them i can battle with them on the court you know they all like we all like together we all brothers and we just like can to basically go to war together so yeah it was it was a very nice moment was it the first game back that you had that thunderous dunk because i know that dunk was at rio Grande valley <laughs> and then down. You, you, you had some choice words after that you were screaming <laughs> yeah I was I just had to let all the energy you know it just it was when you five months just be on the court side and watch like watch people and like watch them play and you just can't do nothing and just going to rehab which with you know this the NAS Suns uh, NAS Suns team did an amazing job and the Suns organization they all did an amazing job to help me get back on the feet very quick to just be back on the court. Um, so, you know, like, just very grateful for them. Um, and, yeah, so I was actually surprised. I was like, oh, my God. Like, I was like, damn, like, okay. I was like, <laughs> I, was, I, I thought I'm still going to need some, like, till I, get my, till I get my bounce back. But it was, it was, it was, it was surprising. But it was good, so kind of had to make a statement like I'm finally back on the court. <laughs> you, uh, you made the top 10 dunks left of the season for the, the Suns. Really? Yeah, you didn't see it. I, I did not know. Yeah, yeah, you made it. <laughs> From the Nash Suns or what? Yeah, Nash Suns, yeah. I was definitely 10 though, right? It was top 10. It was top yeah, 10. I was I was number 10 too, right? Uh, I can't remember, but you weren't number one because I think we all Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know Jalen was like, uh, Jalen is probably like the top five, to be honest. So, oh yeah, the whole G League season for sure, probably top one. <laughs> yeah, so he's yeah. All right, one more for you. Last question: If you weren't a professional basketball player, what would you be doing? To be honest, I'm really trying to figure this out by myself right now too. So uh, I don't know. Like I, I was thinking, like it's just it changes. Like I have lots of stuff, you know. Like I'm definitely doing something with business, but also doing something with sports too. Um, like I can, to be honest, I, I've never imagined having like, like life without basketball. Um, like even now, I think if I would retire, I probably like would do something like, like make a, like a basketball facility or like a sports facility where like, I can, you know, like people could train or some stuff, um, to just get better. Definitely do some businesses, but man, like. That's that's the thing. Like I never really like thought about it because I never really could imagine like life without basketball. Um, yeah, I don't know, but just probably maybe like some business, do some business, some management, some I don't know. No, like I want to be when I was a kid. Like I want to be an astronaut, but yeah, I'm not that smart to be an astronaut. So <laughs> it's like. Okay. It's like a lot of mathematics and physics, and I'm like, okay, yeah, it's it's it's, it's a wrap for me. Uh, well, we can rule one thing out: professional surfer. <laughs> <laughs> Not even that, man. <laughs> Just, but yeah, so I, I'm still trying to figure out, like, to be honest, what like without basketball, what could I do to find a different place? So uh, hopefully, like, I'm gonna find it one day. Like, you know, what I also can do besides basketball. Um, uh, yeah, so right now I'm just, just thinking and seeing, but, you know, it's, right now it's, to be honest, no need to rush. So. Right. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Definitely. Well, I appreciate you being on Coffee Talk. Hey, man. No, awesome. anytime, anytime. Maybe, maybe we'll should, have you yeah. on again and we'll see how your piano playing and. <laughs> <laughs> no, for piano, I just have a little bit, man. I just, I just have four at least a little bit and that's it. So that's, that's just it. But, you know, just, Trying to get to these hard times right now, so. Uh, Good deal. You know. Thanks for being on. Stay safe out there and enjoy I'll the, do, man. the LA weather. <laughs> I'll do. Appreciate you a lot, man. Have a good one.